These are the best combos that the top 1% are all using. That includes the pros, the stage sweats, and the wager sweats. If you can master all these moves, I promise you will become a way better player. Here are my dribble moves. I want you to equip all of them, except you can use Kemba or Jimmy for your escape. Without further ado, drop a like and let's get into the video. But first, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Prize Picks. It's simple. First, you got to make your picks, whatever sport you prefer, whatever categories you want to choose, select your players and decide are they going to go more or less than the predictions in those categories the more picks you get right the more money you make and to make things even more crazy prize picks is now offering demons and goblins picks which give you the opportunity to win up to 100 times your cash prize picks is available in over 30 states and if you use my link in the description to sign up for prize pick today they will match your first deposit up to 100 dollars age restrictions apply please play responsibly Thank you to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Let's start off the video with something a little glitchy today. I usually say these for the end, but we're gonna do this one right at the start. This is the spin cross. I don't know what else to call it. I'm just calling it what it is. This is a very glitchy move. It's gonna catch your opponent off guard and it's gonna get you right to the basket for an easy dunker layup. There's two parts to this move, the spin and the cross. So let's go over the spin first. What you're gonna do is let's say you're going right. You're holding turbo the entire time and you are never going to let go of the left stick as you can see in the hand cam anyways while you're going right you're going to flick your right stick clockwise from about three o'clock to 12 o'clock as you can see again in the hand cam and notice how on the hand cam i'm slowly moving my left stick like towards the center okay that's to like adjust myself but as soon as I do the spin, I'm going to then cross to the opposite hand. And to cross to the opposite hand, you're gonna flick your right stick diagonal up right or left to the opposite side. The earlier you do it out of the spin, the glitchier it will look. The best way to practice this is to get down the spin, wait for it, and then do the cross, and then slowly speed it up. And that is what this looks like right here. I'm doing the spin, I'm letting the animation play out, and then I'm doing the cross after. And then I want you to slowly speed it up so you can get the glitchy animation. Now we got the left stick cancel. This is a little tricky, but if you can get it down, it is goated. You can spam cancel your escape nonstop. You can also left stick cancel into a snatch or a behind the back. All right, so here's what it looks like if you want to spam it. Uh, as you can see, it's probably gonna be pretty effective if you use it right. And here's what the left stick cancel looks like into the Jamal Murray behind the back. And this literally fries people, bro. It is super hard to guard. So first things first, you gotta know how to do your escape and how to speed boost out of it. You're holding your right trigger the entire time. If the ball's in your right hand, you are flicking your right stick up diagonal left. And if the ball's in your left hand, you're flicking your right stick up diagonal right. Or if you wanna do the between the legs version of of your escape you are just flicking your right stick to the opposite ball hand horizontally right or left i'm not gonna lie the move is pretty hard to explain but if you pay attention and you can understand what i'm saying you will get the move down the most important part about this move is not doing it too fast every time i screw this up it is because i am doing it too fast take your time and wait for the animation to visually play out okay so let's say the ball is starting in your left hand you're gonna hit your escape just how you would if you're gonna speed boost straight out of it which means you're gonna flick your right stick up diagonal right or horizontal right and then move your left stick right after up diagonal right now after you move your left stick up diagonal right you're gonna let go of it wait like a half of a second and then flick your right stick up diagonal left and then move your left stick up diagonal left and that's how you do it one time so here's what I want you to do. I want you to just practice doing one spam, just one time going right to left or left to right. And then after that, you'll be able to spam it as much as you want. It's just repeating the same thing. Now the cancels into the behind the backs and the snatches. This is a lot easier and it's probably more effective. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so to do a snatch, literally all you're doing is the same thing. You're gonna let the animation play out. You're gonna take your first step pretty much, just how you would if you were trying to spam it. And then you're just gonna flick down on your right stick like it's super super easy and then to do it into the behind the back take your first step let the animation play out just like if you were going to spam it and then you just flick your behind the back you guys can see it i'm letting the animation like play out 
and then I'm just hitting them behind the back. There isn't anything else to it. It's easy. If you have any questions for me at all and you need them answered or you need more people to play with or you just want to connect with me more, join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Let's get back into the video. This is probably the cleanest move in the whole video. It's the spin from before, but into a behind the back. Um, bro, like... It's just so, so glitchy and so fun to do. But the downside is you have to use Kobe Bryant or um, Trey Young behind the back. You probably can use De'Aaron Fox too, but you cannot use Jamal Murray. And the explosive Jamal Murray is probably the best overall move in the game. So you kind of have to use that. But if you do not want to use the explosive Jamal Murray behind the back, then go ahead and put on De'Aaron Fox, Kobe, or Trey Young. Anyway, so how you do this? It's the same as the first move in the video except instead of flicking your right stick up diagonal right or left for the crossover you're flicking it down diagonal right or left to hit your behind the back and the earlier you do it the glitchier it'll look and i recommend if you really want to do this move to use kobe instead of De'Aaron fox or trey young because the others for some reason just get bump stolen a lot and with the kobe it'll just like glitch you right through the defender if you take any move from this video i want it to be this move it's not even fancy but it's effective to be a comp player okay this move allows you to speed boost out of anything and this is not the normal way to speed boost out of everything this is the hezi glide way that's what we call it the hezi glide you need to learn this move please bro please Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna explain how to do it and then you can combo it with literally anything as you wish. You could speed boost and hezi glide out of anything that you want, okay? And literally just running to the same side like this is super effective. One of the best ones players in the world right now. This is literally all he does, bro. You're gonna hold turbo. You're going to flick down diagonal right or left towards that same hand and then you're going to wait like a half of a second and then you're just gonna flick your you're gonna flick and hold your left stick toward that same hand and then just run it out it's actually an easy move the timing you just have to get down so wait that half a second and you're just gonna hezi glide out of everything out of anything you can do it out of the behind the back out of the snatch out of a signature size up whatever you want learn this move please another must learn move that you need to learn how to take advantage of literally every top one percent player on this game does this move there are top players on the ones and twos who don't do any other move besides this i am not kidding a lot of people literally think i am bad at the game because i like to play basic and easy but yet when they pull up i 23 zero them 84 7 000 times in a row playing basic in this game for the first time in 2k history probably out of any 2ks is the best way to win you do not have to play fancy just have to play basic and smart also i'm not telling you to just spam this left to right all game because it's not going to work you have to throw it into combos you can do it out of a hot back like that you can do it out of a behind the back you can do it out of an escape you can do it out of whatever anyways how to do this this is the pro cross it's very very easy all you're doing is holding turbo and flicking down diagonal right or left to the opposite ball hand on your left stick that is literally it and i'm sorry for the slight color change for some reason 2k just likes to change my colors i don't know why when i'm recording thanks ronnie i would like to see thanks ronnie in the comments you can do it like this too where it's more of like a horizontal but i try to avoid this because if you do it too high up on accident you'll get a terrible slow animation so really try to do it down diagonal right or left now when you combine the two basic moves you get a super overpowered glitchy move this is the hezi glide into the pro cross and let me tell you this is super super hard to defend the defender literally just has to predict are you going to keep going straight to the basket or to fade in the midi or are you going to cross back and go the other way super super good move you gotta learn it let's get into it okay so first off you have to do this at like an angle like on on the actual court like to do this horizontally on the court is almost impossible i've only done it a few times you need exact precise timing so do not do it horizontally do it at an angle a slight angle how you see in the clips this is very hard this is probably the hardest move in this whole video because you have to time it perfectly or you're not going to get it and the timing is very very precise this is going to take you a lot of practice but it is well 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 worth it 
And again, sorry for the color change in the clips. You can thank Ronnie in the comments for doing that to my 2K every time I record. Anyway, here we go. So just like the Pro Cross from earlier, you can flick your left stick horizontal, but I don't recommend it. I recommend trying to do it down diagonal right or left so you don't screw up and don't get the slow animation. But let's get into the actual tutorial of the timing and the move. You're gonna do your Hezi Glide just like I showed you from before earlier in the video. But the timing, like I said, that's the hard part. Watch where I'm flicking back, okay? It's after I take that first dribble. So boom, and then I'm going, okay? So right before the ball comes into my hand after the first dribble is when you are gonna do your pro cross. 2K is delayed, so you have to do it before the ball is about to go back into your hand after the first dribble and then hit your pro cross. It's gonna take a lot of practice, but it is well worth it. It is one of the most effective OP moves in this game. Now we got the Hezi Glide cancel. You can cancel into a snatch, a behind the back, or into your escape. This is super effective, one of the most effective moves in the game. It's effective because as soon as people see you Hezi Glide one way, they're gonna think, oh, okay, he's going that way. And then psych, you just, you know, you, you cancel out of it and hit your other move. All you're doing is you're hitting your hezi glide like normal and then before you finish out the animation just like the left stick cancel you're gonna then hit your behind the back your snatch or your escape and then once you get good at that you can combo them all together and spam them all and just you're, you're gonna have your defender so rattled they're just gonna quit bro so i want you to master the hezi glide first and i want you to master that with the uh pro cross then i need you to learn how to cancel it okay because bro if you if you combine just all three of those things you can literally win almost 90 percent of your games just if you can master all three of those i am not even kidding but you need to master them and know how to use them and when to use them and when to shoot and when to drive etc as a matter of fact just master every move in this video and you'll be a god bro again one of the best moves in the game is super basic and easy and every 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 single best player on the planet every pro everybody who is an elite player uses this move this is the front cross you you can use Kobe or John Wall. I prefer John Wall. Anyway, it's very easy to do, but when to do it is what is the important thing. So how you do it though, you're just gonna hold turbo the whole time, anytime you're going towards the basket, and you're gonna flick your right stick up diagonal right or left, to the opposite ball hand and that is how you do it and you need to be running i hope that's pretty obvious anyway when to do it anytime the defender is not directly in front of you okay like if they're on your hip or even if they're like slightly in front of you at an angle and they're not too far ahead of you that's when you're gonna do the cross anytime they are not directly in front of you and close enough to you to where they won't meet you in the paint hit your front cross and you're gonna score and you're gonna get a standing dunk cheese or just a driving dunk or a layup now if you want to see me in a wager to see if i'm actually good or if this video is just a waste of your time that video is on screen hope you guys enjoyed this drop a like if you did have a good day go out <laughs>